Christmas our light is back with Lord of the Rings the Third Age. We're going to continue on the game now and get on with getting through this area with our elven friend. Baron Four's here. Along with Idriel, so we're ready for action. We got all the items in this area. Very happy with that. I don't believe there's anything else here, so we can press forwards. So let's go this way. Go around here, and there should be this. Orcs are amongst them! There are too many! They have no chance! Help me defend them! Ow! Oh. Did you notice the standard bearer or that guy in the middle is a bit of annoyance? Right, first off, we need that standard bearer. Oh great. Now both of us have been weakened. Our power is now weakened. And yeah, uh, another thing I can say, if something or someone gets struck by an arrow, for some bizarre reason, they decided the arrow should stay in the person. That is actually a bit disturbing. Company in might! Increase my power, please. Yeah, that's just plain disturbing. Right. Archer, you're going down. That was a cinch. Now it's only this guy. Guardian Strike! Okay, that was actually quite easy. Even with the standard bearer's reduction of power. Okay. Oh, new equipment. Lovely. They will trouble you no longer. You have found him. What do you mean by that? It is nothing. Hasten to Rivendell. I have cleared the road for you. I am grateful, but you must return now to the passes. We saw evidence of recent battle there. Come, Gondorian. Some may still survive. Okay. Yep, the experience points are level up, and now Barrel 4 levels up thanks to the quest. No thank you. So, let's level up Barrel 4. We'll increase his health by one and his spirit by one. Oh, I am. Just remembered, we got new equipment. Long sword, that does more damage. That's very useful. That's got a lot better armor, so we're going to keep that. Now, this area here, this quest has shown up. Hunt the wild men. That can actually be done in this area. So what we want to do is go around here and look for the wild men. That's going to be the quest. And I think this is the first one. Okay, here they are. Almost. Let's get rid of them. Sadly, Israel has lost all the AP she needs, which is a bit annoying. Company might. Uh oh, that's not good. Bit annoying, guaranteed. Now, think about wild attacks like these. They don't actually hit very well. Okay, that's okay. And do Guardian Strike. Learn to walk Bane. That's going to be very handy. Okay, so that actually hit for once. And that one did. Right. There we go. Double critical on you. Just make the attack with you. A bit of damage. Okay, and finally, Guardian Strike again. Yeah. 
That's them dead. And now Barrafor's low on AP. That could have gone better for me. But that just solved my problem. They're both fully recovered. We got rid of one of them. There's only two packs left. There we go. And Idriel can have health. Right, what's in these chests? Health medicine and... Okay, I'm gonna have to see these. Right, uh... End bark increases armor value, so that can be quite handy for certain boss battles. Health medicine is revive items. Seriously, you're going to need a lot of them in this game. Especially towards the end, it gets kind of ridiculous. I think in my playthrough I had, I like had, I think by the end of the game, I had about 40 of them in my inventory. So that was actually very handy. Right, let's take care of these guys next. Clearly, I want to get rid of you there. Before you annoy me to death. Also, company might. There we go. Company Valor. That's going to be very useful in this game. Company Valor and Company Might are the two skills I prefer to have on me at all times ready. Luckily, in this game. Unlike Pokemon, you don't need to get rid of skills to replace them. Are you relieved at that, actually? Okay, and that again. There we go. I got rid of them. You might think I'm wasting a lot of AP, but in this game, I prefer to do that to learn new skills really quickly. Okay, got those. Second war band defeated. So let's now increase Adriel's strengths. Uh, hot speed. There we go. That will do. And here is another elf medicine. Very good. Go around. There is one more I gotta find. And if I remember. To find it, we gotta go down this pathway, which is... I keep going, it's around here. Here it is. Kind of hidden, but I can get to it. Okay, another embark. Time for the final one of these warbands. And unbelievably, I seem to have gone against them in the backwards order of what you should have gone against. Lewis, right. Ah, oh, that was awesome. Ariel's not very good at dodging, apparently. Hey, just one more hit will kill him. And Ariel strikes gold. That takes care of that problem. Nope, got a. Uh, yeah, that was it. Yeah, the EXPR didn't go enough to start a new one. Whatever. Right, so now we want to increase your... Uh, let's do that for now. Finally in here, Leaves of Lemnos. Right, so we've got all this. We completed that quest, so now we can move on to the next part. All oh, right. Let me show you this. You see that glowing in the corner? That's the Eye of Sauron. When it gets full, you are put into a random encounter just straight away. In a way, it's a good thing to get this, to get skills here. Like that, weakening slash. I don't like that. This is bad. But to be honest, I think I prefer, um, the problem is, these ones don't give you much EXP in them. Yeah. 
We did level up, but we didn't really get much compared to others, so yeah. But increase your spirit by two. Right, continuing on. And it wars off, wears off because we've reached the end of this area. So now we are here in the next se section. We have here some items. Lembus. And as medicine. There's a save point there, but honestly, we're not going to use that. Wait, wait, wait. Tell you what I'll do. I'm going to save on a separate slot for now. Just because I want to try and get more of this done. By saving here. I'll be able to have that save for if I die at some random moment. Yeah, that didn't last long, did it? Now, what I want to do, actually, I'm going to just do this quickly. Turn on the subtitles. A man. Badly wounded. Wait for the wargs to approach. They'll kill him. Hold on! Oh, that was interesting. Hello, lovelies. You live. No thanks to you. Can't you see I was hunting them? You want to use the crows? Lure the wargs in close. They kill faster that way. You were of the Dunedain. At your service, lady. You meant to help me, so perhaps you may. Perhaps you should finish off the rest of the pack first. So yeah, we've actually got a new party member now, but there's something about this I want to question. In the cutscene, he has a sword. In the actual combat, he's got a bow and arrow. His name is Alagos, so I'll say this now. Yeah, I'm not really impressed with him at the beginning. It takes a while to get good with it. Love more than Fury. Just wanted to do that and get some points. Quit clawing, okay. Harmony Valor, which increases our speed. So we hit more, they miss more. Now, Elagos has bow skills. He is a fake bow. They are very expensive. He uses a lot of AP with it. You gotta be wary of that. Okay, there we go. So, we are ready for level up again. I'm not complaining. Okay, so we can, that's okay. Okay, new party members. And yes, he has leveled up when we got him. Go level up your hit rate for now. Elagos has got nine points. I gotta put four into, no, five into spirit because he needs it. And two into speed, one into health, one into strength. There we go. Now we go this way, we get a bag of old Toby. Have I had one of those before? No, I haven't. Restores great health and action points to the pile. That's a pretty good one, actually. Now, there is a mission here. We gotta do the warg packs in the area. We gotta hunt them down. Which shouldn't be that difficult. Right, yeah. When there's a glow that's... It's not Sauron's eye. Oh, now what's this? Okay, this is... Here's the jump, okay. When that symbol appears, it's an unavoidable encounter. It's a bit annoying, but... They give more EXP, which I'm very happy with. Now more the fury! And chlorine, very well. Company Mike! Okay, now. Weak 
to me. Work against animal like creatures like wolves. Or wolves, they call them in this. And now Elagos is no good with AP again now. After just using two skills, he can't do it anymore. That's how difficult at the beginning he is. AP really needs work. Yes, dear. Small Toby, that's good. Then we need to find the other wargs. There should be another one approaching us. Perfect mode. That's a special attack that you can use when... That bar on the bottom right is full. When it's full, you can use perfect mode. Which will do... A very powerful attack. But I will save that for the annoying ones, the big bosses. Okay. Okay, whatever. Oh, you both missed. You're idiots. I'm gonna need Mike. This ought to do nicely for us. Do that, so we just go attack. Guardian right. And attack with you, Alagos, because your AP is too high. Okay, that takes care of them. Oh yeah, in real level up, very nice. So did finally Alagos level up. And Israel gets a new weapon. Very good. So I'm going to give you strength and health. Elagos can have more spirits. Then Iriol can equip this, which is slightly better, got to admit. Now there's one last ward pack we need to find, which if I remember was over here. Keep going. That way leads us back to where we were down below. So we actually want to go this way. Where if we approach this death, this is the last of the wars. Okay. I'm actually going to use Gift of Elrond here. Very good. And I want to use Creature Bane enough because we can get a pretty good skill through one of these, and I think it is this one. Company Might! Very good. Guardian Strike! Check! And Mate! Thank you, Barrafor! And you level up as well, which is awesome. One end bark. That's then taken care of. That's a relief. 21 across the board. Okay, so we've done it. That's that quest out of the way. Next, we have to go back this way and... Cross here, and we go to the right. What brings you to this place, Ranger? I will tell you, but first we must make our way to one of the Elves' healing altars. Huh. I see. Now if you look at this... Uh, huh. Okay, that's going to be interesting. So, moving on to the next area... We reach this blooming place. We go around here, we can go up here. Maybe we'll have this. Ah, I see you. Which I'll skip right away. There's no way I'm getting involved with that. Uh, hang on. I 
actually want to go get something first before going to that same point. No way, but I'll get to it. There's a chest over here I want. Okay, so we'll equip that to bearer four. And we actually got a new item, I believe. Which is... Uses blunt damage. Fair enough. And here we go with a random encounter. Oh, beat the standard bear. There is no way I let you get the best of me. Or Bane. No need to do it like you've got that much. Like or Bane is super effective on all. Creature Bane! Lovely damage. Yeah, whatever. Fluid Strike! Enemy eliminated! Now, as you can tell, doing damage and receiving damage fills up the perfect game. But you did, we did in that level up. For Elagos, it's just good. So now I can increase his strength by two. Now let's return to here. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all for this episode. See you guys next time where we progress to find the elf healing altar for Elagost. See you guys next video.